happy Friday, y'all. Listen, 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 listen. Here's the thing. I want to come up here. Let me get my life together. Because I know how y'all feel about my seatbelt. Y'all, the most unexpected thing happened to me yesterday, last night. Let me tell y'all. Y'all know I be in these YouTube streets, right? I'm in these YouTube streets like it's my job. I don't know why. Blame it on my OCD. I don't know what it is. The thing about it is, I believe in community. I believe in community. And because I'm a YouTube content creator, I believe in the law of reciprocity. I believe that when people support you, you support them back. I also believe that the YouTube community as a whole, like even if somebody doesn't support me per se, like, you know, the, uh, most people I watch, they don't know me, but I believe in the collective energy of YouTube. So therefore, um, I watch all the YouTube like it's a job. I have a whole system of how I watch YouTube. It's a little crazy. Um, so therefore, I watch a lot. I watch in between times. I watch in between the moments because y'all know I do a lot. I create content. I have a whole day job where I'm not allowed to be on the internet watching social media. You know, um, I work long hours when I'm at work, usually anywhere from nine to 12 hours a day average, only because I'm usually making up time for because of all my vacations. So again, it's by choice because I don't want to use my vacation time. So usually at night I'm getting it in I don't always leave comments usually nighttime I don't leave a lot of comments because I'm tired see my system I usually watch videos that I have to leave, that I want to leave comments for like the smaller YouTube channels and the people who I really support I watch them usually early in the day when I have energy to think of a comment at nighttime I usually watch a lot of things that I don't normally leave comments on a lot of the bigger channels a lot of people who don't even know I exist so who cares about my little comment and Usually then I will only leave a comment if I truly have something to say, right? So I say all of that to say I was in the YouTube streets last night watching TV, watching YouTube. I, okay, y'all know the whole Tasha K thing, the whole Tasha K and Cardi B. Cardi B sued Tasha K, Tasha K was like, I'm a win and all of this stuff. I've been obsessed. But, obviously, I can only know about it through channels that actually report about it. So, in my search, I'll search like Tasha K, Cardi B, and try to find some channels who provide really good commentary. One channel I started watching, I wasn't even going to watch at first because his videos are long. Like, if you go, and he live streams them. So, if you go to his channel, his videos are going to be anywhere from two to four hours right but one day I was like let me watch some while I was multitasking so I just had it playing and I was watching and he is hilarious so that is what got me and plus he's an attorney so what made him stand out from all the other channels talking about it is the fact that he is bringing an attorney's perspective so it wasn't just gossip or here's here's what somebody should do without any reference or without any um subject matter expertise on a subject y'all know i'm all about what are your credentials like are we just making up stuff are we just making up facts or are we talking from a place that we know what we're talking about so i found him to be very credible plus he was hilarious now it took a little getting used to because he was he is not politically correct in the least which i don't have a problem with but sometimes it'd be like the b word da, 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 and y'all know my little virgin ears so um but he so grew on me so i just started watching all of his stuff about this whole case then he took it one step further he actually started going to the court and sitting in on a trial so he was having first hand commentary like from his first hand up close and personal experience so that was my thing right and so this guy this channel is the lead attorney I know a lot of you may have heard about him some of you may not have heard about him but what I like is he provides information on especially like celebrity cases in the news but he brings his expertise and his knowledge base to the subject so it just separates him from other channels that report on what's happening in the world of celebrities right especially when it comes to legal issues and legal matters so that's how I found myself on his channel now 
Tasha K lost, right? And then she came out with a statement on her channel after it saying my statement on the case. And so, of course, I watched that. And then when I watched that, I noticed the lead attorney gave a $100 donation in her live chat and said, I blame it on Olga. Oh, I blame Olga. Olga is the attorney. I thought that was hilarious because one, I just show how playful he is. Two, I know him and Tasha K had some beef before. So I also show that, you know, he do what he do, but he's also a supporter of the community. And everybody doesn't have to agree, doesn't have to have, I, you know, they don't have to have, see eye to eye all the time. So I thought that was hilarious and I caught that, right? But I really was like, I cannot wait to hear his perspective on the situation, on her video and whatnot. So I was watching for it. Last night I saw, I went on the YouTube streets and I saw, let me pull over. I'm about to go get my coffee. So I went and I saw that he was live. And so I tuned in because I was like, what is he saying? Because he crazy. He crazy. And so I was watching. And when somebody's live, you don't even know how long the video's going. But I started it from the beginning. And then I put it on a fast speed so that it could catch up eventually with real time. Um, so I watched it from the beginning. And then at some point. It could have been hour 2.5, hour 3. I don't even know. He had two guests, two other male men join him. And he was talking about how people can make a lot of money on YouTube. And he actually teaches a course. He's going to start. He has a course that's starting up where he's going to teach you how to make money on YouTube, especially doing live streaming, right? He shows his numbers, which is another thing I really like about him. He's transparent. So he shows his numbers and he shows you the receipts, right? And how he can coach you into doing the same. The two guys who were on the show with him, he proposed the question. When you start making money in YouTube, what should you do with your money? How should you handle your money? Y'all know this is right up my alley. Fun and budget, right up my alley. So I'm all ears. And, and But he is hilarious because he wrote on his noteboard. He does like a noteboard while he's talking and he might write down some highlights, some points, some key points, right? So he wrote down Tasha K, listen up. <laughs> like, this is what you should have been doing with your money, home girl. if you haven't been doing this with your money. And so they were talking about real estate investments. They was talking about um, um, taxes and things that you should do to position yourself to win and make better use of your money and to make the best decisions and choices with your money, right? So now they're talking about real estate and, and, and investment properties and all of that stuff. It was hilarious. So I found myself laughing out loud several times throughout this discussion because the stuff that he would say, it was just, it was, it was funny. It was funny. So at some point, somebody in the comments had said something about section eight and they were like, oh, if you, and if you get a section eight tenant, you really going to be winning. So y'all know me. I'm like, and so then they was making some jokes with section eight, this, that, this, that. So finally, I was like, I'm going to say something. I'm going to leave a comment and I'm going to donate some money because here's the thing. Again, I believe this is what I know. I buy a YouTube subscription. So I pay like $18 a month so that multiple channels don't have to watch ads when I watch videos because I go through a lot of videos. So with that, I know that the content creator is only getting a little bit of money from my actual watching of a video. I know this because I'm a content creator and it shows me the money that I make from the regular people watching and the money I make from YouTube subscribers watching, okay? So, in that case, I like to give back to the community. So, a lot of times, sometimes I'll um, send money to different creators. I join Patreons. And so, in this case, because I'm new to the lead attorney's channel, I donated $20 because, again, he was providing so much value. And he was making me laugh. That's that's the most value for me because, you know, life being life, I love to laugh. And so I was like, okay, $20. And then I left a comment about how y'all are really cracking me up. And I had a really bad experience with a tenant being a landlord that I'm still bouncing back from. Y'all, my situation happened in freaking September. It is now January. My house is still down to the studs. It's 
still down to the studs. And so I was like, so I'm like, I've learned a lot of lessons. And I said, Section 8. So he read that comment out loud and he was laughing, but then he did a double take. He was like, Fun and budget with Tanisha Davis says, You three are cracking me up. I had a horrible experience being a landlord and I'm still working to get my rental property back together. Crazy lesson learned. Section 8, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> good 10 minutes or it could have been anywhere from 8 to 10 minutes he recapped my story he was like I watch her channel I want to say he said I love her content he might not have said that but in my heart that's what he said I love everything she ever puts out y'all keep that in mind love everything I ever put out watch it all and um and so he recapped my whole story which went to show like a not only has he watched my channels because he said things like I'm in computers. He called me a high value woman. What's up? What's up? Shout out Kevin Samuels with the high, high value man thing and how women all want a high value man. He called me a high value woman, y'all woman, y'all. So, um, yeah. So he called me a high value woman. He was like, I make good money. He was like, I'm in computers. So none of that was ever said in any one video alone. So that showed me like, oh, wait a minute. He really did watch my stuff and everything. And then he recapped the whole situation from the whole journey of what I went through with this tenant to the day we walked in and, the, and water was pouring from the ceilings. What is up? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? I think the moral to that story is you never know who's watching you, right? That was just so dope that I just went to leave a simple comment and give some simple support for all that, this, the, all the joy and laughter that this channel has been bringing me. And the fact is, he was like, I know her and then one of the other guys was like nodding his head like yeah like he knows it too and he was saying that he's been telling everybody about my situation and everything and um then he said for the people to go and check my channel out and i'm gonna tell you hey y'all hey y'all hey welcome to the family because over a hundred of you have come over and joined the family. I hope y'all like it here. I hope y'all like it here. But shout out to you, the lead attorney. That is so freaking dope. And it just shows me that you truly are like from the little bit of channel, the little bit of videos, which were like hours and hours and hours <laughs> of videos that I've been watching of you. You are a true supporter in the community. Like I've been peeping that from the guests that you bring on to the shout outs that you do. And then the fact that I leave a little comment and you actually had a, your memory, your memory. Wow. To remember these details about my situation in my life. Thank you so much for the support. And that just reminds me, like, I think about my views and, you know, not everybody leaves a comment and it's like, you don't know who's rocking with you, who's truly supporting you behind the scenes, silent, 
not saying a word, but their presence is there all the same. And that just makes me want to be a better supporter of you all. And when I say supporter, it's the same thing. It's, it's the fact that I know with all these years I've had on this planet, I've had a lot of experiences. I have a lot of know-how and I have a lot of things that I could give and teach and convey. So it just makes me want to do more of that for you all um, for being there for me. I feel so like, hmm, should I have this camera over here a little bit? Like, where should you be? Because I'd I be like lean just to get in frame. Yeah, so I just wanted to come up here and say that I'm going to see if I can use some of his clips of or if not the whole clip from his video. I'm going to reach out to him and try to get permission. But if I don't get permission, um, because, you know, the email just might sit somewhere and nobody may ever see it. I'll do little clips of what he said. I don't think I can do the whole thing, but I'll definitely put a link in the bottom of where you guys can see the shout out to me. The shout out to me. Wow. Wow. So stoked. That's all I want to come up here and say. 